Good morning, afternoon, or evening. My name is Ben, and I don't even remember what part this is of our floppy cat game, but it is definitely getting close to being done. So in this uh, one, I'm going to finish up this high score system. I don't have time to do sounds and music today, I apologize, but I will do that tomorrow, so it will be finished. My tutorial series will be finished before the end of the Flappy Jam. So if you're building a game to enter into the Flappy Bird Game Jam, then uh, this will be done by then. So the first thing we want to do in this uh, video is we're going to copy our score. So we're going to duplicate this object, the score object, we're going to call it object high score, right? Because that's really creative. And we're going give, to give it a variable called high score. And that will just uh, equal zero for now. And it's going to draw that variable, I score. We don't want it to draw the current score. So copy that into all of uh, into our stringify function. And then also over here it says just score. We want this to say I score as well. You can just double click those ones and copy and paste that in. Awesome. Now we're going to go into our game over script and we're going to do a function that's called, if I can remember it, high score add. And for the string, just do best. And for the number, we're going to do global.current score. Okay. Now, uh, we need to go into our room for our room menu, and we're, man, this is the last video I'm going to do on the Mac version of Game Maker. This is just ridiculous. The whole foreground thing kills me. So, I'm going to uh, make this foreground image not visible, and wait, yeah, I'm in the menu. What object is that? Oh, the pillar creator. And then I'm going to... Uh, create our object high score and put it right there so it would be where the score one is kind of and then come back and turn this freaking foreground back on now let's save and I think that's it let's try and see what happens so when we start the game we do have a high score right there and it says click to play so let's click and see if we can, okay, we got a score of one and high score didn't, oh, I've got to load it. Okay, yeah. So come into our high score again and sometimes Game Maker does this to me. I have to come out and click on it. Okay, come into our high score object again and go into the create event. And this is going to be high score value yes and then place one so you can actually show other high scores like uh, up to 10 high scores um, you know you have first place second place third place but we're only gonna show one in this game because that's all we really need so we're just gonna show the the highest score that we have and let's try running this one more time I've tried to keep this as simple as possible you can do this with INI files too but, oh, see, you can see the high score is one. That's what I got last time I played. So, and it should automatically save these. So even if you exit the game and come back in, Game Maker handles that for you. So, oh, I died. You can see my high score is now six. That is awesome. So uh, one more thing we're going to do in this tutorial is create a sprite. And we're going to call this... Really? Okay. Um, sprite title. Edit the sprite and come into it. And we're going to make this one. Well, let's do a width of 256, which is going to be huge, and a height of 128, which is also going to be huge. Okay. Um, let's color this 
something kind of a light green color for our background color. I'm going to get white and I'm going to insert we're going to insert some text into here. I want this to be kind of big. It's always hard to tell how big I'm going to need this to be. I'm just going to do 24 and that looks fine. Close out of this. So this section might be a little bit different. All you basically want to do is create a title Fluffy cat. So that doesn't look too bad, I guess. I can live with that. Actually, it I, I'm gonna make it one size larger. Let's go with 36. Fluffy cat. There we go. That's looking pretty good. And then I'm going to do a trick up in the transform. Well, first, you'll want to select a black color and come up to the transform and we're going to do a trick. It is called it's actually an in, it's actually an image and it's just called outline. And no, we do not want to remove the current image. And you can see we made a new sprite. I'm going to leave it transparent, center it, create an object for it object title and um, let's see we want to give this negative 100 depth so that it comes on top oh we also need that for a high score oh yeah that's already done awesome so come into the menu and come over to backgrounds if you're in this version <laughs> back to objects floppy cat I'm going to try and get it centered. I'm going to put it right there. Come back to backgrounds. Visible when room starts. Okay. Oh my gosh, look how good that looks. Okay, so we have an entire game basically other than we haven't put the sounds in it yet but this is the first probably your first game ever that you've completely finished and that's what we've got it's an entire working game so tomorrow we'll put some sounds in it and I've got a ton of different music files to choose from because I used to do this thing called the game game dev giveaway where I'd give away free royal uh, royalty free music every single Tuesday. I don't really do that anymore, but I still have the music for it. So we'll talk about that in the next video, but you'll get a lot of free music that you can choose from that you want to put in this game or other games. Uh, you just have to give credit for the music is all, but the authors have said that you can use it in a game and even sell the game if you want to. So I really appreciate you guys. Make sure you like and favorite this video. Follow me on Twitter and I will talk to you guys.